Hello! Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so grateful you clicked on this video. My name is Brianna Warren and I am the creator of The Gourmand Garden. On this channel we'll be discussing fragrances, beauty, wellness, and all things that inspire us to be our best and most authentic selves. So hopefully in the garden you get to kick back and relax and enjoy all the richness that life has to offer. And without further ado, let's get to the video. For background, I officially started my fragrance collection um, a couple years ago, definitely towards the start of the COVID pandemic and when everything was kind of shut down. Um, that's when I really started to get into fragrances and my collection has grown a lot since then. I've come to find that I really love gourmand notes and green notes and for those of you who don't know, um, I certainly didn't when I first um, started getting into fragrances, but gourmands are those sweet, indulgent, dessert-like fragrances. Think your warm vanilla sugar, your vanilla lace. For those of you who were like me back in the day and those are your go-tos, um, I just I just love being sweet. I love smelling sweet. I love smelling sweet fragrances. And I also really love the fresh, earthy, woodsy tones of a good, earthy note. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but these are the primary fragrance profile uh, profiles that I tend to have in my collection. I do have quite a few others um, and some that are more challenging that are obviously not super gourmand or green, but those are the main notes that I love, hence the name Gourmand Garden. But these fragrances are the ones that I've added to my collection that are just easy reaches for me. Fragrances that I can put on for a date, a night out, brunch and they just make me feel great about myself. Fragrance has become one of my favorite accessories. I, I can't wait to get to the part of my routine where I'm spraying a fragrance. I wear them to bed now. I just, I can't get enough of it. But these are the ones that are in my collection that just bring me the most joy no matter when or how or whatever occasion I wear. So I'd love to share that with you right now. So the first fragrance on my list is the beautiful Hidden Accords by Unique Luxury. This is just an easy, creamy, soapy, kind of bright, uplifting fragrance. Uh, there's a little bit of coffee in it. There's this exquisite jasmine white floral that comes out. And this is just an easy reach for me. This is something that I like wearing on errands and definitely in the office. This is one of those fragrances that I think is pretty mass appealing. So you can get away with wearing it in many different settings. I have to admit though, when I first got it, I wasn't too crazy about it. It's not that I didn't think it was nice. I just thought it was chill. I just didn't know if I wanted to spend my money on it, but my good friend really loves this on me and hey, I'm a sucker for <laughs> compliments. It has come to grow on, uh, grow on me so, so, so much. I, I can't stop smelling. It just is so good. It's just, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And I mean, come on, this packaging, divine, divine. The box it came in was just, this is part of the fun of fragrances as well. It's just, the overall presentation, the packaging, the bottle, how they present and send the fragrances to you in the boxes. I just, mm. it looked like red carpet luxury. It's like a red interior. It's like a red bottom box. Like, what are y'all doing? This is amazing. Unique gay luxury. That would make sense. Like I said, it's really easy to just reach for. Mm. Oh, that white floral is beautiful. And the creaminess and vanilla in this is really, really lovely. It's not overly sweet. I wouldn't call it a cloying or too sugary type of gourmand. I don't know if I would even call this true gourmand. I would call this more floral, but this is definitely clean, soapy, vibrant, bright, easy to reach, appropriate for the office. I don't think anybody's gonna tell you that you're giving them a headache with this. <laughs> Next on this list, this is the fragrance that hooked me on to niche fragrances, and that is Nishane's Ani. I know you've seen this everywhere, I know you've heard it, and there is a reason why this is a popular fragrance. There is a reason why you see it all over the place, and that is because it is a spicy, citrusy, but a 
amazingly decadent vanilla. I mean, to me, this is the grown person's vanilla. It is perfectly unisex. I love how it smells on me. I also love how it smells on my one friend, and he's a guy, and he wears it really well, too. This is your vanilla for those girls who are just the girls like me who loved that warm vanilla sugar back in the day back in middle school get you some ani like this this is amazing the performance on ani is really amazing too and i didn't talk about this in unique a luxury i should have the performance is great there but this fragrance is beast mode anytime i smell this fragrance it just brings me so much joy it just it's it's vanilla but it's a different type of it's vanilla with a twist it has this bright um aromatic even opening and it has i think cardamom in it ginger a hint of spice it's so different and yet it's so familiar with the vanilla on the dry down this lasts on my clothes for days and days if I spray this on one of my jackets and I go out next time or the next day when I wear that jacket I'm like oh here's the Ani that got all over me I mean this definitely boosts my confidence I mean I just love vanillas and several of these on my list have vanilla in them I mean I'm called the gourmand garden for a reason and vanilla has a lot to do with that reason so if you are in search of a unique vanilla that definitely will turn heads and will make you feel really good get you some nishane ani y'all y'all let me tell you about this next one it's number three on the list and number five in name but it is number one on the sexiest fragrance i've ever smelled in my entire life list and that is Rosendo Mateo's number five. Is it Mateo? Mateo? Mateo. Mateo. This is just, this is a sexy, sensual, amber, vanilla. This is a date night fragrance. This is, I'm trying to send subliminal messages on what I want from you signal. This does have some sort of a rubbery note to it. I don't know what it is. Somebody described it as a sexy condom smell. <laughs> I don't know why, but why do I agree with that? And on skin. Ooh, baby. Like, what is that? Why is it just so... <sighs> it's beautiful. And when I talk about beast mode, this thing lasts for ever on my skin forever it lasts forever on clothes one of these fragrances that you, if you do a few sprays you'll be okay like you don't need to overdo it you don't need to do any of that all you got to do is do boom 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 and maybe on the clothes and you are good to go i think you know if i had to give up all but one fragrance in my collection i would cry because it would be such a hard decision but ultimately i think i would probably choose this one to keep for the rest of my life if i had to choose one fragrance to have this is a grown and sexy unisex vanilla so unlike her cousin ani there aren't citrus notes in here if ani is the daytime date you want to and you but you still want to smell sweet you still want to smell like vanilla Rosendo Mateo's number five is going to be your nighttime sexy come hither smiling with the eyes this girl if you wherever you can find it just know it's worth it it's worth it don't act like I didn't tell you it wasn't worth it oh no no worth it Going back to the clean, fresh, soapy vibe, we have a replica, I always call it replica, bubble bath. This is just a gem and you can find this in Sephora, in Nordstrom, pretty much anywhere. This is a clean, soapy, coconutty, that sweet creaminess on the dry down. And even though these fragrances, I didn't even realize that these fragrances were eau de toilettes, but this one performs like an eau de parfum. And I feel like my sillage and my projection and the longevity of this fragrance is eau de parfum worthy. So 
don't be put off if you're not somebody who tends to reach for eau de toilette. Think of light blue, I think by Dolce & Gabbana, the eau de toilette is the best seller. And same thing with bubble bath. My sister, uh, she makes, re I really love whenever she says anything about um, anything because she's a straight shooter. She's never gonna BS um, or sugarcoat anything that she says. And I remember I sprayed this, walked over to her. Again, I was in the doorway this time and she was further away in the other side of the room and she said wow that just instantly lifted my mood how you smell and I was like okay yay thank you I love mood lifting fragrances I love fragrances that are pleasant and that are mass appealing that smell clean in addition to green um, and brighten people's day and this one does it really well it has again that coconutty hint in it so it gives it that sweetness it's not a vanillic sweetness it's not um, an indulgent dessert like gourmand but it is something that is playful it's pleasant it announces itself anytime you enter the room this is a good another good work fragrance another good fragrance that you can wear in close quarters and you're not gonna give people a headache and you really don't need that much it's so good I really 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 like this fragrance and that is why I have it on this list of confidence boosting fragrances just because I know it lifts people's mood around it just that's that's something that brings me joy so that is Maison Martin Marigella's bubble bath going in a different direction I wanted to talk about another Nishane fragrance that's also a great performer and that is Wulong Cha now Wulong Cha is one of these really really great summer fragrances it's one of these fragrances that I mean right off the bottle bergamot orange listy mandarin oolong tea nutmeg musk and fig it is a green citrusy slightly sweet it's not so green that it's on the earthy side it's just like pouring yourself a glass of ice cold green tea with a little bit of sugar in it a little bit of sweetener in it on a hot day love fragrances like this and I didn't realize, um, and again, I'm I'm still pretty new on my fragrance journey here, so I'm still learning a lot, especially from folks who have been in the game longer than me, but it's great for weather like this, which is summer weather. What you want in summer hot weather fragrances is not something that's too sweet, too cloying. You want something that kind of cuts through the heat, if you were to think of it that way. That's why lemonade stands it's a cliche but it's popular for a reason because citrus bright citrus cuts through the heat it's like acidic through the heat and it's very invigorating and it's very welcome and it kind of adds a different element and i also didn't know that citrus fragrances don't necessarily or fresher fragrances especially in this type of weather aren't necessarily meant to last the whole entire day and if they do that's great but you kind of want some reprieve from overly cloying fragrances during hot weather months performance on this is really good i would say considering it's so fresh and citrusy and aromatic um, it does really really well as far as throughout the day um, i love wearing this fragrance to work because it is again non-offensive it's refreshing and it also won't you know give you a headache the whole entire day none of these would but if you spray kind of too much or in the wrong occasion in the wrong season it could it might not work Wulong Cha by Nishane is one of my favorite confidence boosters just because it's so refreshing to my senses and it's so invigorating in a great way and it's not bitter it's got a slight sweetness to it it's green it's the garden of gourmand garden and this is what comes to mind what came to mind when I was thinking of the name what are fragrances that bring me joy and between the what is it vintage 78 by banana republic and this that's where my heart lives and if you are a fan of elizabeth arden's green tea you would love wulong cha much better performance 10 times better performance um it's a little more ex it's it's way more expensive than um 
the Elizabeth Arden, which you can find for like $10 now in TJ Maxx and Marshall. That's where I found mine, but it's oh, like the price. I have to add this to the list of confidence boosters, just mood up, uplifters. No second guessing, no, oh, is this gonna be too much to, this is, this is a perfect fragrance, I love it. Um, and if you love tea, if you're interested in trying a green tea-like fragrance, a citrus fragrance that's not too lemon pledge, cleaner smelling, because <laughs> um, sometimes citrus fragrances can be a little cleanery for me, but this isn't, this is perfectly balanced, excellent for a day like today. That is Nishane's Rulon Cha. So the next fragrance on this list, I would call the quintessential feminine it girl scent. I mean, it's just something that a girly girl would love, I feel like, and I love feminine fragrances. This is my first real rose fragrance, and it is none other, you already know who I'm talking about. It is Parfums de Mali, Miss Delina. And this is the original fragrance. And I mean, come on, look at her. She's hourglass shaped. She's got her little pink on her tassels. She's got the crown. The packaging is so cute. The packaging is so feminine and girly. Um, and it is just that. It is a jammy rose, a tart rhubarb, a poignant rhubarb, and slightly powdery, but super sweet vanilla. That dry down is so sweet and alluring. It is a compliment magnet. It is a fragrance that I have I, there I cannot tell you when I've worn it and someone hasn't said something I gotta say I mean yes she is sharp in the opening but that doesn't last that long and it's worth the wear I mean she is just she's just that girl I love Delina um, and I love her for what the transformation is as the time progresses you will smell like a beautiful woman you'll have people ask you what do you smell like so of course it has to be on a confidence boosting list again we don't hunt for compliments here but i will say if a fragrance is mass appealing and you are feeling down one day and you want a little bit of an easy pick me up hey i'm just saying maybe wear something that will garner some compliments and delina garners compliments for me so that is why she's on this list Bafums de Mali. Dilling. Finally, on this list, and just like many of the other fragrances on this list, it is a popular one and for very good reason. I, I love this fragrance and that is BDK Parfums Grise Charnel. Let's get into the fragrance itself. This is the please come cuddle with me scent, in my opinion. This is this is what you want to wear when you want somebody on your neck <laughs> like the spicy cardamom the juicy fig it's woodsy it's sexy it's fruitiness too mm, mm, mm. and this is just my favorite type of cardamom fragrance if there's any cardamom fig combination that just smells amazing it's gonna be this gray charnel there's a reason why if you've seen it everywhere there's a reason why now the extreme version i did get and i ended up gifting it to my good friend because to me it it leaned more masculine i don't know what it was just something about it smelling the original there's i guess more sweetness in it from the fruit or some note in here something that Something in here resonates more feminine with me. It's unisex though, don't get me wrong, but this just is so pleasant. This is, this is a cuddling scent. Put this on on a fall day or gray skies day and you ain't got nothing to do but lay up with your boo, put this on, put a little bit on. <laughs> it just smells, it smells really good y'all this is this has to be on my list because like I said it's one of those fragrances that just says please come cuddle with me please come talk to me please come hang out with me and and look at that juice look at how pretty it is I mean it's just I don't know this is like this is a cool bottle like this is this is a cool bottle this is 
I don't know. It's giving a vibe. I mean, again, it's it's making me think like I want to cuddle on a rainy day and I want you as close to my skin as possible. I strongly recommend if you are getting your first BDK parfum, parfum, your first BDK, um, I strongly recommend Grease Charnel. Thank you so much, y'all, for making it to the end of this video. I hope you maybe learned one or two things new, uh, especially for those of you who haven't seen these fragrances before or weren't sure or wanted a different opinion on them. Um, if you got anything great, if you do have these fragrances and you have your own thoughts and feelings on them, please feel free to discuss below. I'm ready for the engagement. I definitely want to talk more about this. This is for us in the fragrance community, but also also in the Golmond Garden, if I do say so myself. But anyways, thank you all for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. This is the Gourmand Garden by me, Brianna Warren, and I'll see you next time. Bye.